RSM HGT Auto Double Winch Operation Teaching Video. 1. Device Description The RSM HGT Auto Double Winch is made of aviation aluminum and the frame is integrally formed, which is light and strong. It can be operated by wireless remote control, can automatically adjust to ensure the level of the probe during exercise, and the whole system is battery powered. The auto double winch consists of number one reel and cable, number two reel and cable, probe, winch electric control box, double-sided motor, double-sided drive sprocket, double-sided motor drive sprocket, double-sided reciprocating screw. It is composed of sliding blocks of reciprocating screw rods on both sides. There are top limit switches on both sides and the probe limit frame is designed to fix the probe. There are AC and DC power ports on the panel of the electric control box, power on-off switch, power indicator, manual lifting knob, 10-core communication cable port, and depth counter connecting cable port. 2. Applications The ultrasonic drilling monitor can be applied to whole quality testing of board piles on railway, highway, port, high-rise building, and etc trenching quality testing of the groove of diaphragm wall. It can also be used to detect the thickness of sediment. Generally, the ultrasonic wave round trip time testing method is adopted in the ultrasonic drilling quality testing. The principle, the testing ultrasonic wave is emitted by the ultrasonic wave emitter, assuming that transmission medium is mud, and the time when mud medium is transmitted to wall hole and reflected to the receiver is called round trip time. The ultrasonic wave transmission speed is acquired by multiplying the ultrasonic wave round trip time and the ultrasonic wave speed in mud medium, while the measured distance is half of ultrasonic wave transmission distance. 3. Operation Preparation 1. Turn on the host and enter the ultrasonic interface. 2. Enter the set interface. 3. Fill in the basic parameters, hole information, and settings. 4. Save and quit. 4. On-site operation. 1. Lift the winch to the top of the hole, groove to be tested and lock the universal wheel. The winch should be as level as possible, and the cable outlet position of the probe should be aligned with the center of the hole, groove, as much as possible. If the hole, groove is larger and wider, a reasonable placement device must be prepared. 2. Open the top cover of the winch. Connect the 10-core communication cable and depth counter connecting cable to the winch and the host, one by one. 3. Plug the 220 volt power supply or 24 volt battery power supply into the winch and then press the winch power switch or battery power switch. When battery power was used at that time, there was no need to press the power switch of the winch to start the machine. 4. Press the up function key of the control handle. The probe rises and automatically hovering over the limit switch. 5. Manually open the probe limit frame to make the probe lower and unblocked. 6. To calibrate the orifice wave velocity, sink the probe below the liquid level and click on the host to sample to get the reference orifice wave velocity. The mud wave velocity is 1.58 by default and you can calibrate it yourself. 7. When down sampling, check When Down, click the New button and start the test. 8. Press the down function button of the control handle, the probe starts to descend, and the automatic leveling function and the bottoming automatic shutdown function are automatically activated. At this time, the test begins. 9. If you need to collect data again when the probe is ascending, you need to remove the when down option in the host settings. Reset the host parameters, press the up function key of the control handle. The probe starts to rise and automatically starts the automatic leveling function and the top automatic deceleration function and then continues to sample data. 10. 
During the ascent, it is recommended to rinse the cables and probes with clean water to keep the surface clean. 11. After the probe rises to the top and touches the limit switch, it will hover automatically. When the save progress on the host is completed, the limit frame is manually adjusted to the bottom of the probe. 12. Press the down function button of the control handle, lower the probe to the limiter, and press the stop function button of the control handle. 13. Take back all the cables, reinstall the top cover, and the data sampling is over. 5. Maintenance 1. After the winch is used on site, if it is necessary to clean the winch, the water gun can be used for direct flushing, but it should not be washed directly to the side of the panel of the switch electric control box and do not flush with electricity. 2. When the winch is used for a period of time or after cleaning, it is recommended to fill the exposed transmission part of the winch with machine oil. Butter or grease is not recommended, which is easy to accumulate dust and sand. Proper amount of oil is needed, that is, the surface is covered with oil without accumulation. The parts to be oiled include reciprocating screw rod and chain. If the nylon guide wheel has a sharp abnormal noise, disassemble it to clean up the internal sediment and then fill proper amount of oil and reassemble it. Attention, please use anti-freezing oil in low temperature areas. 3. When cleaning the cable connector, be sure to keep the inside of the connector dry, clean, and free of foreign matters. 4. In daily use, it is necessary to pay attention to fastening the screws at all parts of the winch. The screws of all winches produced by the company are coated with thread glue to prevent loosening. However, some movable parts need to be tightened frequently in daily use. The matching hexagon wrench can be used for fastening. 6. Precautions Make sure that the hole is drilled and cleaned and the bubbles in mud of drilled hole have disappeared prior to testing of ultrasonic drilling, trench quality. Otherwise, they may have excessive suspended substances in mud and affect the measurement accuracy. If bubbles exist, it may lead to early reflection of ultrasonic wave during transmission in mud. The stay period after hole cleaning will prolong and increase the risk of hole collapsing. Connect the cables according to the principle of connecting the signal cables first and then connecting the power. When unplugging the cables, follow the principle of disconnecting the power first and then disconnecting the signal. It is necessary to ensure that the winch power supply and external power supply are both turned off when the circuit cable is plugged and unplugged. When using AC power supply, a voltage stabilizer is required. Do not move the winch during the testing. It is recommended to power on to test whether each function of the winch is operating normally before testing. During the test, according to the site conditions, the speed of the winch can be adjusted through the control handle and the fastest speed cannot be used for the initial lowering. In order to avoid misoperation, it is recommended to press stop and start to reset the program before any operation and then proceed to the next step.